Hi friends, welcome to my channel again. Today, we're going to practice the TFL Siru Section 7, Safer Driving. If you still haven't watched Section 7, please go to my channel and watch them. Then you will get a better understanding about this video series. Download our TFL Siru exam preparation app and quickly pass the exam. Here is the today's lesson content. At the end of this exercise, you will be able to get a better understanding about TFL Siru Section 7 by doing this mock test. Therefore, please watch the video until the end to make sure that you will never miss out any important parts of the video. Please subscribe to my channel to be notified once I upload a new video. Now, let's move on to today's exercise. Quiz 1. Obey the law. Question 1. As a PHV driver, you are expected to be fully aware of and to obey the rules of the road, as explained in Option 1, the City of London Legislations, Option 2, TFL Regulations, Option 3, the Highway Code, The correct answer is option 3, the Highway Code. Question 2. Most collisions in London are caused by a small number of easy-to-avoid behaviour, such as, select two answers, option 1, driving below the speed limit, option 2, getting distracted, option 3, making dangerous manoeuvres, option 4, defensive driving, Option 2 and 3 are the correct answers. Getting distracted, making dangerous maneuvers. Question 3. What happens as you drive a faster? Select two answers. Option 1. The more time you have to do something to avoid a collison. Option 2. The lighter any resulting injuries become. Option 3. The less time you have to do something to avoid a collision. Option 4. The more serious any resulting injuries become. Option 3 and 4 are the correct answers. The less time you have to do something to avoid a collision, the more serious any resulting injuries become. Question 4. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. PHV drivers need to keep a careful watch on the roads at all times and be able to interact safely with all other road users, especially those that are more vulnerable such as pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists. Question 5. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. As a PHV driver, you are expected to be fully aware of and to obey the rules of the road as explained in the Highway Code. Question 6. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You need to aware of your responsibilities as a professional driver. Question 7. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. The faster you drive, the less time you have to do something to avoid a collision. The resulting injuries also become more serious as speed increases. Question 8. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. 
any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Think about the maneuvers you make and make sure they are safe. This includes things like looking carefully when pulling, out of junctions, turning across traffic, or passing cyclists or L motorcyclists. Quiz 2. Concentration, Alcohol and Medication Question 1. It is illegal to use a handheld phone or similar device when you are driving unless Option 1. You are calling the emergency services in an emergency and it is unsafe, impractical, to stop. Option 2. A passenger is calling you about an item they left. Option 3. You are texting your passenger. Option 1 is the correct answer. You are calling the emergency services in an emergency and it is unsafe, impractical to stop. Question 2. Please read the following information carefully and answer the question below. PHV drivers spend a lot of time on the roads and are almost twice as likely as private car drivers to be involved in a collision that results in the death or serious injury of a cyclist. Because of this, it is very important that you follow that advice in the PHV driver handbook so you can reduce the risk of a collision and help make sure that everyone travels safely. Question. Which of the following statements is correct? Option 1. PHV drivers are twice as likely to be involved in any type of collision as private car drivers. Option 2. PHV drivers can stop collisions from happening just by following the advice in the PHV driver handbook. Option 3. PHV drivers can reduce the risk of collision by following the advice in the PHV driver handbook. Option 3 is the correct answer. PHV drivers can reduce the risk of collision by following the advice in the PHV driver handbook. Question 3. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. If you do need to answer or make a call, you will need to stop safely, park your vehicle and turn the engine off. Question 4. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Distractions can make you less aware of what is happening on the road and affect your judgment, so your decision, making abilities or reduced. Question 5. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Remember it is also illegal to use a handheld phone or similar device when you are driving unless you are calling the emergency services in an emergency and it is unsafe or impractical to stop. Question 6. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. If you are taking prescription medicine, you must check with your doctor that is safe for you to drive. Quiz 3. Following traffic laws before a journey begins. Question 1. PHV drivers should know and follow the rules on the safe use of vehicles, including 
select two answers. Available options are making finance payments on time, sanitizing door handles between trips, having insurance, having a current MOT certificate. The correct answers are having insurance, having a current MOT certificate, Question 2. Who is responsible for making sure that children under the age of 14 wear seatbelts? Option 1. Children themselves. Option 2. The parents. Option 3. The driver. But only if the parent isn't there. Option 4. The driver. Option 4 is the correct answer. The driver. Question 3. If a correct child car seat is not available for a journey, how should a child be restrained? Option 1. By wearing an adult seat belt for children of all legs. Option 2. By wearing an adult seat belt if they are older than 3, otherwise without wearing a seat belt. Option 3. By wearing an adult seat belt if they are younger than 3, otherwise without wearing a seat belt. Option 2 is the correct answer. By wearing an adult seat belt if they are older than 3, otherwise without wearing a seat belt. Question 4. If a correct child seat belt is not available for a journey, where should the child sit? Available options are on their parents' lap, in the front seat, in a rear seat, The correct answer is in a rear seat. Question 5. Can a child who is under 3 years of age travel with you if there is no correct car seat available? Option 1. No, it is illegal. Option 2. Yes, as long as they sit in their parents' lap. Option 3. Yes, if they sit in the rear with an adult seat belt. Option 4. Yes, if they sit in the rear without a seat belt. Option 4 is the correct answer. Yes, if they sit in the rear without a seat belt. Question 6. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. All driver must make sure that their vehicle is maintained to the required standard. It is important that you are aware of the rules regarding passengers. Question 7. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You need to know about and follow the laws on the safe use of vehicles, for example laws that require you to have insurance, a current MOT certificate, a driving license, wear a seatbelt, and not drive a, a faulty vehicle. Question 8. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. All adults must wear a seatbelt, and drivers should encourage adult passengers to wear a seatbelt for their own safely. Drivers must also make sure that all children are correctly seated and restrained. Question 9. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Drivers are responsible for making sure that all children under 14 years of age wear seat belts or sit in an approved child car seat.
Question 10. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question, the police. Keep a close watch on London's Road 24 hours a day and will identify drivers who choose to break the law. Quiz 4. Being aware of other road users. Question 1. Which of these is a more vulnerable road user that PHV drivers should be aware of? Option 1. Light goods vehicles. Option 2. Lorries. Option 3. Cyclists. Option 3 is the correct answer. Cyclists. Question 2. When you are turning or in slow-moving traffic, what road users must you especially be aware of? Select two answers. Available options are pedestrians, vans, cyclists, motorcyclists. The correct two answers are cyclists, motorcyclists. Question 3. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should ask your passengers to check before they open their door into the road to make sure there isn't cyclist a coming. You must do the same. Question 4. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. TfL expects all professional drivers to be fully aware of other road users, in particular those people who are the most vulnerable Question 5. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road and give way to pedestrians on side roads. Quiz 5. Windscreen Vision. Question 1. What does Annex 6 of the Highway Code say regarding vehicle maintenance? Option 1. Windscreens must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. Option 2. Windows must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. Option 3. Windscreens and windows must be kept free from obstructions to vision. Option 4. Windscreens and windows must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. Option 4 is the correct answer. Windscreens and windows must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. Question 2. Only mobile phones and sat-navs can be an obstruction to vision on your windscreen. Option 1, true. Option 2, false. Answer is false. Question 3, what is the swept area? Option 1, the area on your windscreen that is covered by your sun visor. Option 2, the area on your windscreen that is next to your license badge. Option 3. The area on your windscreen that is swept by your windscreen wiper. Op Option 3 is the correct answer. The area on your windscreen that is swept by your windscreen wipers. Question 4. If you put a cradle device in the swept area, select two answers. 
Option 1. You are committing an offence. Option 2. You can see your app easier. Option 3. You will be able to focus on the road better. Option 4. You may be prosecuted, fined and receive penalty points. Option 1 and 4 are the correct answers. You are committing an offence. You may be prosecuted, fined and receive penalty points. Question 5. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Annex 6 of the Highway Code which deals with vehicle maintenance, says windscreens and windows, must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. Question 6. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should not put or fix anything onto your windscreen that will stop you being able to see the road ahead. This includes mobile phones, sat-navs and other devices that will reduce your vision. Question 7. Please note that you must complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Before starting any journey, you should make sure you have a clear view through the windscreen and windows of your vehicle and that no devices or signage reduce or obstruct your view. Question 8. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. If you put a cradled device, such as a mobile phone or sat-nav, on the area on your windscreen that is L, covered by your windscreen wipers, known as the swept area, you are committing an offence. Question 9. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Driving conditions can change quickly and dangers such as pedestrians suddenly stepping in front of you or bikes coming out of side streets mean you need to have a clear view of the road. Quiz 6. Other things to consider. Question 1. Driving while tired can result in death and serious injury. Missing your exit. Lower earnings. The correct answer is death and serious injury. Question 2. What should you do if you are driving and it suddenly starts to rain heavily or there is thick fog? Option 1. Reduce your speed. Option 2. Turn on your air conditioning. Option 3. Demist your windscreen. Option 1 is the correct answer. Reduce your speed. Question 3. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Tiredness can have a similar effect on a driver as drinking alcohol and can result in death or serious injury. Plan your day to include regular breaks from driving and do not begin a journey if you are already tired. Question 4. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should 
change your driving behavior when the weather conditions change so that you are always driving safely. If it suddenly starts to rain heavily or there is thick fog, reduce your speed. Question 5. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should pay particular attention when driving at night because pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists may be more difficult to see then. Quiz 7, Cycle Safety, Question 1. When should you check over your shoulder for cyclists and other road users? Option 1, after opening your door. Option 2, when forward bay parking. Option 3, before opening your door. Option 3 is the correct answer before opening your door. Question 2. What is the advanced stop line box? Select two answers. Option 1. The space for cars nearest to the traffic light to wait in. Option 2. A space for cyclists at traffic lights. Option 3. A space that drivers should not enter when the traffic light is red. Option 2 and 3 are the correct answers. A space for cyclists at traffic lights. A space that drivers should not enter when the traffic light is red. Question 3. What happens if you enter the advanced stop line box? Option 1. You can save time. Option 2. You may be fined and get points on your driving license. Option 3. Cyclists will get angry at you. Option 2 is the correct answer. You may be fined and get points on your driving license. Question 4. How much space should you give a cyclist? Option 1. As much space as you would for another car. Option 2. 5 meters. Option 3. 3 cycle lengths. Option 1 is the correct answer. As much space as you would for another car. Question 5. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. PHV, driver spend a lot of time on the roads and are almost twice as likely as private car drivers to be involved in a collision that results in the death or serious injury of a cyclist. Question 6. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. If a cyclist is using the middle of the lane, you should wait patiently until you can pass safely. Question 7. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Use your indicators when turning or changing lanes even if you think anyone is near you. Question 8. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Leave room for cyclists at traffic.
Lights. Drivers should not enter the advanced stop line box when the light is red. This space is for cyclists and you may be fined and get points on your driving license. Quiz 8. Vehicle safety. Driver and passengers compartments. Question 1. You should check that the equipment in the passengers compartment is Option 1. Always sanitized. Option 2. Kept in brand new condition. Option 3. Clean and in good working order. Option 3 is the correct answer. Clean and in good working order. Question 2. Which pedals should you check have anti-slip covers? Select two answers. Available answers are the clutch, the accelerator, the brake. The correct answers are the clutch and the brake. Question 3. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. As a professional driver you are responsible for checking your vehicle is safe and legal to drive. For example, in the driver's compartment, you should check that the horn works. Question 4. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should check that any devices for opening and closing the driver and front passenger windows work correctly. Quiz 9. Vehicle safety, wheels, tires and outside the vehicle. Question 1. You should check the outside of your PHV vehicle to make sure there is no Option 1. Dirt or mud on the panels. Option 2. Watermarks on the panels. Option 3. No serious rusting or corrosion resulting in sharp edges. Option 3 is the correct answer. No serious rusting or corrosion resulting in sharp edges. Question 2. You should make sure all windows are. Select two answers. Available answers are clean and undamaged, not tinted, not open, free from unapproved signage or advertising material, The correct answers are clean and undamaged, free from unapproved signage or advertising material. Question 3. You should check that all external lights and reflectors on your vehicle are there and Option 1. Secure and working. Option 2. Secure and undamaged. Option the Secure, undamaged and working. Option 3 is the correct answer. Secure, undamaged and working. Question 4. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. The passenger compartment should be clean and all equipment in it must be in good working order, such as the seat belts fitted to the passenger seats. Question 5. Please remember to complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should make all wheel nuts are in place and 
secure. Question 6. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Tires must be the correct size, speed, and weight rating for the make and model of your vehicle. You should make sure all wheels nuts are in place and secure. Question 7. Please note that complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. Tire wear bar indicators are positioned around the tire. If the tread pattern has worn down to the level of the indicators, then you must replace the tire. Question 8. Please complete the following passage by selecting a word or phrase and dragging it into the space in the sentence. Any unused words must be dragged into the red box before moving on to the next question. You should check all windows are clean, undamaged and free from unapproved signage or advertising material. Now we have come to end of the session. I hope you have practiced the mock test related to TFL CRU Section 7 very well. On next time, we will meet again with Section 8. Until then, you have a wonderful week and keep practicing ahead. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, thank for watching.